Annual racial and ethnic data collection is used to determine how effectively FNS programs are reaching potentially eligible persons and beneficiaries. In the CACFP, programs that enroll participants should collect racial and ethnic data on enrollment forms. Programs that do not enroll participants should collect aggregate data on the population served. There are directions on the CACFP basic training page of the Maine Child Nutrition website to help with this. Program operators must take reasonable steps to ensure meaningful access to their program by individuals with limited English proficiency, which are individuals who do not speak English as their primary language and who have a limited ability to read, speak, write, or understand English. Meaningful access is accomplished by providing reasonable, timely, appropriate, competent, qualified, accurate, and effective language services to individuals with limited English proficiency when accessing programs and services. There are several CACFP documents available in foreign languages on the main CACFP website, but other program materials may need to be translated. In these cases, foreign language teachers, community organizations, and volunteers, as well as interpreter hotlines, can be used, but children should not be used to translate program requirements to parents and guardians. It is very important to make sure that translators understand CACFB confidentiality requirements. Some language assistance resources include the Migration Policy Institute's National Center on Immigration Integration Policy and the Department of Justice, as well as local language translation services.